So we've laid this angle iron over a bit of wood and on the other side over some rollers, which you can move things up and down. And then it's been slotted into the little vice area and it's been tightened up so that's in line with the cutting wheel. So I know I don't have uh, proper safety clothing on, but at least you need to do your eyes and your ears and your hands. So you've got to do that. Ready? Okay, so what's going on next is we're making up the roof trusses for the greenhouse. Um, on my welding bench here, I've measured out 2370, which is the width of the greenhouse. And this piece of strip steel here, um, we're going to be using to make up the truss. And it's going to be a dome style roof, so or an arch if you like. Um, and the trusses will be welded up here on the bench. Um, they're going to be 300 high in the center and then they're going to have polycarbonate stretched over them. So first up we're going to make up four trusses and, uh, and then take them out to the greenhouse. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just setting up the, the arch and I've got some blocks of timber there in the middle. And what I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm mimicking the edge the edge of the greenhouse here and the roof is going to come down so I'll have a little bit of an eave hanging past the edge of the greenhouse on that side and on this side um, I'm having a, an eave that's um, twice as long as the other side so a little bit longer so it will stick out a bit further um, and that is because we're having some extra shade cloth go on that side yeah we're having a bit of extra shade cloth on that side of the greenhouse it gets a little It'll bit more sun be clearer later um, i've just set up the arch with these um, timber blocks in the middle they're um, around about 300 high um, or just slightly under we might just put something else a little bit of extra timber under there to spring that up a little bit and we're just shaping out what it's going to look like Okay, so we're setting up our arch here, and as we stand back from it, uh, because I've only got it supported in the centre, I've got a lot of curve here in the middle, and then it's really quite straight on these outside pieces. So what I'm going to do is, as I weld it, I'm just going to hold it up a little bit, um, and I want that curve to be even the whole way across. So John's now positioning the centre of the curved roof truss ready for welding and he's just measuring so he knows it's in the middle and you see that he's got a little piece of angle iron here because it's sitting on a piece here so that when he welds it's going to be straight. So John has just trimmed this edge and the bit just to stick out so we've got a nice clean arch now. So I've just sprayed all the welding points with some cold gel, in this case a black gel, to protect against corrosion. And the rest of the metal is not going to be as prone to rust, but I'm still just going to paint it with just any old black spray paint to help prevent rust. Okay, so here I have one of the first um, trusses that's welded up underneath. And on top I've got the second truss. Um, I first welded a T-piece effectively and then I've used clamps to hold the strap steel together across the top so that effectively I'm using one as a pattern to manufacture the other so I can repeat the process. I've got four trusses to make and that we get the curvature of the roof perfectly even all the way along. So this is just a simple way of doing it. Um, Alrighty, so we'll take, we'll take this off and we'll just show you that polycarbonate sheet. Okay, so this is the polycarbonate sheet we're using for the, um, the roof. Um, it's a laser light 2000 plus, um, comes in different specs, but it's basically a UV treated polycarbonate sheet. On this side? 
on this side. And that's one of the most important things to remember that the UV treatment is only on one side. So this side has to go towards the sun. If you put it the other way, it's gonna go brown. So what we're doing here is we're just gonna test our arch and make sure that the, that the sheet is gonna bend nicely around and we've got a nice curve and it's not um, cracking in the middle here or, or um, getting any um, imperfections in it. So it looks pretty good. So the height of 300 for our arch is gonna work pretty well. Okay, if you have a really close look at the laser light sheet, um, just written on it um, is the little label that says laser light 2000, this side to the sun. And then a few specifications, I think manufacturing dates and so on. But once you peel the sticker off um, and you can't figure out which, which way is out, um, just have a close look and it's got it written on it. So now we're gonna test whether our sample truss is going to fit. Okay. You can see we've got a little eave out the left hand side and a bigger eave out the right hand side to encompass a bit more shade cloth over some extra plants that will go outside on benches. Looking, Look, good. looking good? Happy days! So here we are. screwing the truss onto the greenhouse frame. Okay, so these are the special screws that we are using to attach the polycarbonate laser light sheet down. They're self-drilling and they have this little hole saw on there which cuts through the polycarbonate sheet and as the screw drives itself in, it stops at precisely the right depth so that it doesn't crush the, the sheet down and then it has a little rubber cap there to seal it off. From weather. Okay, so we're on to the next stage and what we've done is we've put these battens on top of our rafters. Made out of? Uh, these are made out of treated pine and we've just started to bend our first piece of polycarbonate sheet over and attach it down. We don't need as many screws to hold down the sheets in the middle, but it will help stabilise the Don't do movement. it on a windy day! <laughs> yes, so having them in the middle as well will help stabilise the movement in heavy winds. Alright, so for our next step in the greenhouse project, we bring the water over. So obviously we're going to need irrigation inside the, uh, inside the greenhouse. And to provide that, we've got a pressure pipe with our mains water coming over, a stand pipe, with, which we'll put a tap on for uh, just a hose around the place. And at the bottom here, we've got three solenoids, one for the upper layer of plants, one for the lower, and one for the plants that are going to be on the outside of the greenhouse. Okay, so today we're getting to put the door on, which is very exciting. John is just putting up the door track. And you'll notice that it juts out to the right hand side. And that is because of the special design of the door, which you'll see in a moment. Here we are at the dream greenhouse again, and we're about to fit the door. We've got the door track up and you'll notice that it Juts out this way, and very soon you'll see why. <laughs> so now we get to unveil the new greenhouse door. So this is a polycarbonate sheet, and unlike the roof where we were showing you that you could only put one side towards the sun, this actually has the instruction on it. If you look in English, in the English section, install this side up or outside 
has it on both sides. So with this particular sheet, it's okay for either side to be exposed to UV. So it's got a protective plastic, and once you take that off, then and you can leave it on while you're working to protect it, then. Hey Presto, new greenhouse shop. And this is designed for ventilation, anti chicken, anti snake, so that when you push the door over this way, you can allow some ventilation through. So it's a special design. Closed. Venting. Closed. Venting. So as the sun sets on another day, What's John doing here? We're just finishing connecting the last of the lines. We're going to have three lines. Take a look inside. We've got one line that we've already been testing, hence why the ground's all wet. We're able to reuse a lot of the line from the last small greenhouse and just rejig it. Comes around here, comes through here, what we, and all the way through here. It doesn't come here because that's where I'm going to have my potting bench and so underneath that I don't want plants, I want some storage. And I'm going to have the bottom and the top on separate lines because the bottom will get a lot of flow through from the top and so I'll be able to water it less at times. And then there's the third line that will come, oh well, here we go, action. So it's kind of a misting, it's really, it's a bit hard to see. coming through there and out here and here's some of the first here's some of the first plates going in some turmeric and some Davidson plums and out here will be an outdoor bench top and bottom that will be watered on the same line 